Hi guys, it's Miss Diane from the Livingston Library. How are you? And it's Let's Cook Home Edition. Um, so hopefully you guys um, can follow along and make um, our delicious pizza quesadillas. Yay! And today I have a lovely assistant, Mr. Sammy Choi. Hi, Sammy. What's up, boys? <laughs> Haha! <laughs> How are you? I'm good. All right, so he's gonna be helping me. Uh, we're gonna be making two kinds of pizza quesadillas. Um, one is the Hawaiian pizza quesadilla with ham. I have some chopped up ham and the pineapple right here. I'm gonna show you how I chop up the pineapple. And then we are going to be making a mushroom onion quesadilla for those uh, vegetarians out there. And so we have some mushrooms, any kind you have at home. And we have half of a bread onion, but you could use any kind of onion you have. Um, and then of course we have mozzarella cheese. I don't know if you can see that. And then tomato sauce. So right now we're using Rao's homemade. Love this one. I think it's the best one in the jar version out there. Um, and of course we have our flour tortillas. So let's get started. All right, Sam. So you said you were going to help me chop some veggies. Onions. So what are we going to be doing first with the onion? onion. <laughs> well, let me show no, you. No, I know. We're going to like... What are we going to do? Nope, 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 nope. Got to take off the skin. Yeah, so I kind of took part of the skin off already. And we're just going to peel that off. Put it flat side down and I'm cut off this. cut off the top. And then we're going to start slicing it. So I'm so crying already. You want to cut off the end this side too? Is that <coughs> spicy? No, not spicy. Not it's spicy. Just... All right, hurry this up. No, we're gonna be careful, no, right? No, it's fine. All right, okay, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Like this way. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. That could go in the garbage. He's just making slices and then we're gonna dice it. Are we gonna dice it? Yeah. Yes, we're gonna dice. You wanna do that part? Be careful and then we're gonna be let me get you a bowl and then I'm going to show you how to cut a pineapple. First I lay it down and I cut off the top and then I stand it up and with the knife I'm going to cut off the skin, trying not to cut off too much of the flesh, the yummy sweetness of the flesh. But you're going to have to cut down kind of thick slices because the skin is extremely thick and tough. And there's all these little eyes. Sammy, you're doing an awesome job. There's all these little eyes that we're going to try to get as many of the eyes out as possible. I'm putting them in the bowl. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm putting them in the bowl. I know. Be careful. You want to be really, really careful handling the knife. So I cut down as 
many as the eyes as I could. And then I put it on its side again and I cut the bottom off. And I'm cutting mushrooms now. Oh, you're gonna do the mushrooms? Okay, go for it. I'm just going to get Wait, rid of- Wait, how do you cut them again? You just cut from the stem. So we just lay it on the side. Okay, the best way I think for you to do it is I'll take the stem off. <laughs> And well, lay it, it in the flat. Okay. okay. So since I cut the stem off, I lay it flat so you have better leverage. And then you do slices. And dices. Um, you can do dices, but they don't have to be super, super small. Because mushrooms are pretty soft and cook really fast. So today we're actually going to use a griddle. You see to make our quesadilla. How you doing there, Sam? So once I have it standing up straight, you want to cut down the middle. And you have two halves. So today we're only going to probably use like a quarter of this. So you could use the rest for other recipes or just enjoy it as it is. We Love pineapple here, right Sam? So what I did was cut off the tough core. There's a core on the inside and I just cut that out. And you lay it flat and oh, another little eye there. How are you doing Sam? And I'm going to cut it down into three parts and start slicing. Slicing them pretty thin to put on our pizza quesadilla. Can't wait to try it, right Sam? So when you don't have like pizza dough at home and you just want a little snack, this is an awesome snack that you guys could actually make. My Let's Cook 4th and 5th graders. Samuel, what grade are you in? Fourth. Hey, so you could actually take my Let's Cook class. How come huh? you never told me about it? What do you mean? That's like ninth graders. Sometimes. I did it once for the high schoolers. But usually it's fourth and fifth graders. Right. And now, time to assemble. So I'm going to bring the griddle forward. I preheated it. So let's start assembling, Sam. So let's, you want to do the Hawaiian one? Yeah. Okay. So you put one flour tortilla on the griddle. And I'm gonna make the veggie one. So sauce. That's good. Hey, is this like making pizza in the pizzeria? Yeah. Ooh, sauce. Mm. Yummy sauce. Yummy, yummy sauce. Well, we don't want to overload it, but enough sauce. What do you think? I'm not making too much of it. Oh, that's okay. I'm cooking the tomatoes. <laughs> How's that look? Looks good. Let's put our ingredients. Chef. You want to put the ham? I'm gonna put some mushrooms. Lovely, lovely mushrooms. And you don't want to overload it. Ah! Ah! What was that? And I'm going to put a few onions. You don't want to overload it. There we go. I put too much ham. It's okay, you're gonna eat it, right? Yeah. 
Pineapple. Pineapple time. Let's grab a bunch of pineapple. Remember, don't overload it. That looks so good. Yum. I think we need to turn up the heat a little bit. Maybe the 300. I got Z. Alright. Alright. Now it's time cheese. for the cheese. The best part. Cheese. Shush. Shush. Oh, that looks so good. Damn. That one. Woo. Yum. We're going to do an oh, experiment. Some cheese on a griddle. Cheese on a griddle? Look, it's melting. That's how you test. So, with the pizza quesadilla, I like to put another flour tortilla on top and then we flip it. Okay? Yikes. Ooh. The hard part about this recipe is the flipping. So, what I like to use is my gigantic spatula. I'm going to do Sammy's first. I want to do it. Oh, you want to do it? You want me to yeah. do it first? No, I did it before. No, you did it first. Okay, this is my technique. I put the spatula down with my hand on top and then I flip it over just like that. It's okay if some stuff comes out. Push it back in. You got it, Sam? This is my technique. What about the hand? I need the hand. Yeah, you do. One, two, three. Ah! Flip. Yes. It worked. That worked. Woo! Good job, Sam. Hey. The best part oh, is coming wow. up. The tasting. I'm going to... Should I cut it? No, it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna try to flip it over one more time. Make sure it's... My face! My face! You broke my face! Smells delicious. I wish we had smell of it even, right? Okay. Time to take it off the griddle. Onto the plate. Boom. Yes. Hawaiian pizza. Hawaiian pizza quesadilla. We like to use scissors to cut our quesadillas. Got it? Oh, that looks so yummy. Now I'm gonna cut into my veggie quesadilla. Alright, I'm eating it. Wait, 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 come on. And have a taste test. You ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. How is it, Sam? Good. Good? Not so good? Mmm. I ain't just delicious. Mmm. Well, guys, I hope I. I hope you enjoyed our video and I hope you cook at home simple and delicious pizza quesadillas. Bye! I'm better than mine.